Hey guys, I'm Lilith, sometimes known as Goddess Lilith, and today we are going to be talking about the best strategies that I use for loyal fans. Also, I just want to put it out there that if you are not signed up on loyal fans yet and you would like to sign up under my referral, I do offer free shoutouts for anyone who has signed up under me. The way the referral works is that I get a small commission for referring you and it costs nothing to you to do that. So if you're interested in getting some shoutouts and some one-on-one -on -one advice from me, feel free to scroll to the bottom and use my referral link to sign up. Okay, so so let's get into it. Number one, before you even start your profile, make sure you have a lot of content to upload. You want to make sure you have at least 15 posts or so, so that when potential customers and fans come to see your timeline, they're going to see, oh wow, this person has a lot of content. They're going to get a good look at what you offer, and if you don't have this kind of stuff, they're going to get bored and leave. They're going to think that you're not really uploading a lot of content, and we don't want that. So before you even do your launch and start promoting your page, make sure you have a a lot of content available and you also have some photo and video bundles available for purchase. It's also a good idea to have a couple of pieces of content uploaded into the stores on loyal fans and we'll get back to that in a minute. All right so the second tip I'm gonna offer you guys is to consider having a low subscription price. You know somewhere in the realm of like $2.99 to $4.99 a month. This gets new fans in the door and establishes a path of communication where you can start messaging them and finding out what they're into. If you don't want to go that low, that's also okay, but you should definitely offer perks to anybody who subscribes. A perk that I like to use is discounted messaging. While I personally don't allow any of my fans to exchange DMs with me for free, I do offer them a very extreme discount if they do become subscribers. For example, my DMs are priced at $2 each, but when somebody becomes a subscriber, that price drops to only 50 cents. Again, this price point might not work for everyone, you do what you feel is right for you and what you feel your time is worth. I honestly don't super encourage that you allow any of your subscribers to message you for free unless they have spent a lot of money on you already. The reason for this is I personally feel that it helps train my customers to know that my time has value. They can't just sit here and message me with like random chit chat or complaining. They understand that I'm an extremely busy creator and when I'm giving them my time that is basically a service. All right the next tip I have for you is probably kind of a no-brainer, but post often. Every time you make a post on the timeline, you get bumped up in the list of creators that has recently updated. This is really good for the visibility on the explore page, which is actually one of the nicest features that Loyal Fans has built in. Most other similar sites like OnlyFans do not have such an amazing directory of creators that customers can just log in and see before they even subscribe to you. And that's just one of the many reasons that I recommend it so highly, especially for new creators. I also want to mention that you should be mixing up the types of posts that you're making. You should only post public posts every once in a while, and these are going to be the types of posts that you also make on your public free social media. This gives something for potential new fans to come in and see before they're even following you. I personally do this every once in a while, but I also make a lot of posts for followers and subscribers. I tend to make the most posts for followers because my subscribers are getting my premium content in the DMs. And by posting a lot of pictures for your followers, it's going to make people see that they can unlock it just by following you, and that's going to help increase your number of followers. So super big hack right there for increasing your amount of followers on the platform. Okay, next tip is go live. You don't necessarily have to create a whole big production show to go live. You can go live when you're just hanging out, having your morning coffee, or you're getting ready for a shoot or something like that. Just something that's going to potentially bring in new fans that they can get to know you and see that you're a real person. There's a whole section on the explore page for creators that are live and you definitely want that traffic. Again, I recommend very rarely going live for the public. Make sure the setting is on followers or subscribers only. It's great to do subscriber-only shows a couple of times a month. That can be another one of the perks for them for subscribing. But I often spend a lot of time just in the sort of semi-public follower chat, especially if I'm not doing anything super intense like a show or anything. Again, what this does is it makes new people who just stumbled upon you 
want to follow you so that they can see what you're doing. Another little trick that I've picked up is that it can be really helpful sometimes to temporarily drop your subscription price to something like 99 cents or 199 and then go into live on subscriber only mode. This price point is low enough that a lot of random guys are willing to take the bite, even if they're not super familiar with you yet. And then once you get them inside, that is your chance to win them over. Okay, the next tip might be obvious to some of you, but if you're brand new and just starting, you're probably not gonna know this one. But the next tip is to make sure you're sending mass DMs frequently. Now these don't and they shouldn't always be paid DMs because that can feel overly salesy or sometimes spammy. People don't always want to feel like they're just constantly being sold something. They're there to hang out with you, they want to get to know you, they're not just there to buy content, they want to interact with you, the creator. So it's great to send mass DMs out sometimes for free, maybe throw a couple pictures in there. And one of the great things about loyal fans is you can control who those mass DMs go out to. There's different groups, you can set them to subscribers only, you can set them to expire subscribers and you could set them to just all of your followers in general so this is really powerful too you do want to send what's called PPVs sometimes this is pay-per-view or you know pay to unlock content this is gonna be your spiciest stuff you don't really want to put this stuff on the timeline unless you do have a high subscription price and you just don't really want to deal with DMS the reason for that is so that you can upsell your customers your most devoted fans are going to be willing to purchase your premium content Content. And if you want to be really successful and make the most money possible with your fan club, you do have to have an element of sales technique in your DMs. This can be really time consuming and it does require going back and forth with messages a lot, but it pays off and it is super worth doing. Especially if you are also being paid per message. That way when you're going back and forth and negotiating with them and trying to close the sale, you're still being paid something for your time. The next tip is utilizing the stores within Loyal Fan. There are two different stores. There are the video clip store and the audio clip store. Before you even open up your fan club, it's a good idea to have a couple of pieces of content in each one of those stores. And they don't have to be super long, they can just be a couple minutes, they don't have to be high production. In fact, a lot of consumers really like when things kind of have an amateur vibe to them. It makes it more real to them. You should make sure to keep these updated as often as you can, even if it's just a few times a month because it's also going to boost you back up into the explore page again and it's going to send a message out to all of your followers to let them know that you've uploaded some new content. Next tip, and this is a good one, offer customs. Make sure your fans know that you are available for customs. With custom content, you can really make a lot of extra money because you're doing something specifically for them and you can add all kinds of add-ons such as saying their name, wearing a specific outfit that they want, saying a certain phrase over and over, you get the idea. So it's a great idea to every once in a while just post it on your timeline or send it out in your DMs that hey, I'm accepting custom videos or audios right now or even pictures. Once in a while, I will sell some custom picture sets as well. Now, what you price those is entirely up to you. My suggestion is to do a little digging around on forums like Reddit and places like Twitter to see what other creators are charging. You can also just make a guest account on Loyal Fans itself and see what other creators are charging. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, I would really love if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe as well because I do frequently add new videos of of similar topics. And my last tip for you today is to advertise loyal fans on your socials. I know, again, it probably seems like a no-brainer, but it's easy to forget sometimes. When you're doing all these different things, you're making the content, you're trying to interact with your fans, sometimes it's easy to forget that some of your outside fans don't even know that you have a fan club. Make sure that you never directly link your fan club on any of these social media platforms or your account will most likely be banned. The safest thing to do is to use a site like All My Links or Linktree or even your own domain name to forward to your loyal fans page. Make sure you're posting things like this in your stories at least a few times a week. You can say, hey, come and find me on loyal fans, or ooh, I just posted this sexy set to my members, my most loyal fans, over here. Come see. And if you don't have a presence on social media yet, well, it's time to build one. 
But that's a video for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you found helpful or any other tips that you might want to share with other creators. And again, if you would like to sign up to Loyal Fans using my referral link, I would love to give you some free shoutouts and some more one-on-one -on -one advice. So feel free to scroll down to the bottom in the description and you can find that link. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.